Hey guys, uh, welcome for a second topic. Uh, here we're going to discuss about what is an APK and what is the structure of an APK when we unpack it, right? Uh, so basically, uh, APK is called as an Android package or sometimes it can be named as Android package kit or an Android application. So basically it is nothing but a zip file uh, which contains a lot of uh, multiple files like classes or tags and assets and resources and meta enough files, right? So we will see that and uh, APK can be generally unpacked by using a tools called apk tool winrar zaven zip or any any other unzipping tools uh, you can prefer right it depends upon the person who is uh, unpacking it right uh, so if we see like when we unpack the apk uh, these are the common uh, uh, files you should can see like you know depends upon the application uh, like the files varies but these files are much these are the common and the basic files one and other uh, like apk should contain so i have an apk so let me uh, try to uh, you know show you people uh, how uh, it can be done right this is the goi people apk so let me try to open it and so winrar so you can see all this let me try to extract it and let it take like it might take few seconds to extract it so let it uh, extract it so you can see right so these are the common files you can see so the most important file when we unpack that uh, we gonna see is android manifest file so we gonna talk what all we can see in android manifest file so here we have unpacked folder so as we saw in the slide uh, you can see the common folders like assets com lib right so we we'll talk see these actions and agencies depends upon the application like you know, these are not a common files as it is a go i vivo so it might be related to that but the most important things are like assets where asset uh like asset is a, a folder or application resource where it contains the asset files like suppose if you have developed a react native by using react native you can see index at android at bundle file or if you can uh, develop using a cordova you can see the javascript files or index files and if you if you are using like xamarin applications it will store the dll files like that is where the asset file uh, asset folder is used for coming to kotlin uh yeah if you have developed using a kotlin the kotlin related all the uh you know uh, dependencies will be stored uh in this folder and other important folder is lib where lib folder contains the uh you know architecture based code you know we are not sure like you know we have a lot of different architectures like uh, x86 x86 64 erm v7 erm 64 erm abi so it will be having compiled native code uh with respect to the uh with respect to the uh, like you know ways of an android so it like it will be included all the ways so that it, it is not sure what is the user way so based upon the user ways that file will be uh, running so that is where the lib file contains and uh, coming to uh, meta inf this folder contains the uh, like verified information like you know the signing things and uh, what all the signature kind of things uh, and you know the fingerprint information of every file so we can we can identify if there are any uh, you know signature mismatch or uh, like such kind of things and it also contains some 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 important things like cert uh, rsa cert sf uh, you can see right so th those are the things which is included in meta INF. and coming to ok http3 it contains the network libraries uh, you know your SLP code also will be there inside that right this org is doesn't depend upon like this is not a common uh, folder, right? And coming to uh, resources, these are predefined resource folder from Android OS itself. Like it is not a developer defined, but it is there. It will be there uh, predefinedly when you develop an uh, application. So that is one. And other important thing are uh, these classes text. As I said earlier in the videos, whatever the code you uh, write uh, in whatever the languages, right? So when it compiled, all the source code will be converted into text classes. So if you want to read a source code, you have to decompile the text classes using text to jar or any, any, any decompilers. We'll talk about the thing when we come to static analysis part. 
right so another important uh, file uh, when you unpack is resource.arc this contains all the strings which interconnects with the source code so this is the basic structure of an apk when we unpack right you can use any tool so i i i use apk tool generally and also winrar so and i do and see whatever you did i are unpack this is not a decompiling okay decompiling is very different and unpacking the apk is very very different so the base, you know uh, in a short we can tell like you know apk is a zip file where we unzip it to see what are the files it contains right so this is about this uh, topic uh, see you in a next topic very interesting topic uh, where we talk about android components and android life cycle